Hi children, Teacher Connie here. Welcome to our online learning journey in Mathematics 5. Today, we will discuss about prime factorization of the given number. But before we proceed, let us have first our drill. In this drill, children, you are asked to identify if the number is a prime number or a composite number. Remember, you have only 10 seconds to answer each number. Are you ready now, children? Let's start! Number 1. 54. Your 10 seconds starts now. Time is up, children. And the correct answer is... Very good! It's a composite number. Number 2. 31. Your 10 seconds starts now. Time is up, children. And the correct answer is... Fantastic! It's a prime number. Number 3, 15. Your 10 seconds starts now. Time is up, children. And the correct answer is... Very good. Composite number. Number 4, 43. Your 10 seconds starts now. Time is up, children, and the correct answer is very good, prime number. Lastly, number 5, 59. Your 10 seconds starts now. Time is up, children, and the correct answer is... Very good! Prime number. Find the prime factorization of these numbers, 12 and 18. There are two ways to find the prime factorization of the given number. The first one is using factor 3. Let us use the given number, which is 12. The first thing that we should do is to list down all the pair of factors of 12. Then, we will get just one pair of factors of 12. And in this case, we will get 2 times 6. 2 is a prime number, while 6 is a composite number. Since 2 is a prime number, all we have to do is to write it down together with the multiplication symbol. While for number 6, we will list all the pair of factors, then we will get one pair of factors and that is 2 times 3. 2 times 2 times 3 are the prime factors of 12. Therefore, the prime factorization of 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. The second way is using ladder method. Let us make use of the given number, which is 12. 12 here is our dividend, and we will divide this by the smallest prime number, which is 2. 12 divided by 2, the answer is 6. Instead of writing 6 on top of 12, we will write it below. Next step is to continue dividing the new dividend by the prime number until the quotient is equal to 1. 6 divided by 2, the answer is 3. 3 divided by the next prime number, which is 3, because 3 is no longer divisible by 2. 3 divided by 3, the answer is 1. 1 here is our quotient. Next, 2 
2, and 3 here are the prime divisors of 12. The product of the prime divisors of 12, which is 2 times 2 times 3, is the prime factorization of 12. Now, let us find the prime factorization of 18 using factor 3. First step is to list all the pair of factors of 18. Then, choose one pair of factors and in this case, we have chosen 2 times 9. 2 is a prime number and 9 is a composite number. Since 2 is a prime number, we will write it down together with the multiplication symbol. And for 9, we will list all the pair of factors, then we will choose one pair of factors, and in this case, we have chosen 3 times 3. 2 times 3 times 3 are the prime factors of 18. Therefore, the prime factorization of 18 is 2 times 3 times 3. Here, we will make use of the ladder method in finding the prime factorization of 18. 18 here is our dividend and we will divide this by the smallest prime number which is 2. So 18 divided by 2, the answer is 9. Instead of writing 9 on top of 18, we will write it below. Next step is to continue dividing the new dividend by the prime number until the quotient is equal to 1. So in this case, 9 divide by the next prime number which is 3 because 9 is no longer divisible by 2. So 9 divide by 3, we will get the answer of 3. Then continue dividing this by 3, we will get the answer of 1. 1 here is our quotient. Next, 2, 3, and 3 here is what we call the prime divisors of 18. The product of the prime divisors of 18, which is 2 times 3 times 3, is the prime factorization of 18. Children, keep this in mind. Prime factorization is the process of expressing the given number by its prime factors. To get the prime factorization of the given number, use factor 3 or ladder method. For now children, we're done with our online discussion. See you soon and always remember, be a good person.